beautiful children in the world. This is your Father in Heaven speaking through this servant on this day. Expressing my love to all my children on the earth at this time. My deep unconditional love. Breathe in my love, breathe in my presence. Breathe me in, my children. I want to fill you full to overflowing with my Holy Spirit, my presence, my glory, my radiance, my beauty. Receive me now. Through my Holy Son, your Lord and Saviour, Jesus Christ, receive my spirit. Do not wait any longer, my children. The time is now. Be filled, full to overflowing with my grace, my love, my beauty, all that I am. Every part of me. Experience me, your God, this day. Do not just give me lip service, my children. Have a tangible experience with your God. A life-changing encounter with my reality, my presence, my glory. Walk in the fullness of your God this day. In divine healing, divine appointments, divine encounters, divine love will follow you all of your days, my children. I am omnipresent. I am with you this day. I speak to you one on one. I am calling out to all of my children to come to me, to embrace my love, to be set free through the blood of Christ, your holy Karahashikiti, Lord and Saviour, your High Priest in Heaven. He made the sacrifice, the ultimate sacrifice for humankind. He laid down his life for your salvation. He took the punishment. His body was broken so that your body does not have to be broken. You can live in peace, in well-being, in divine healing, my children. Where I am is divine healing. If you allow me into your life, if you embrace me on this day, Sickness must flee. The enemy of your soul must flee. For I am all-consuming power, all-consuming love. No evil can stand in my presence. I want to alight your soul with my love this day, my children across the earth burning fire, glory deep within. I want you to have an encounter with your God this day. Put aside all distractions and be with me. Dance with me. Worship in spirit and truth. Give me your all this day, my child. You will not be disappointed. I will embrace you. I will set you free, strip away the sins that bind you. I want you to be consumed with my love. I want you to know my peace whilst you live upon the earth. I want you to experience heaven on earth. I want to take you up 
lift you higher so that you can see my heavenly realms in spirit and in truth. I want to show you my glory. I want you to experience true freedom this day, my children, true love, true peace in your life. It is for freedom that Christ has set you free. Receive this freedom now. You must lay down all willful sin, the things you are doing that you like to do, you enjoy to do, you justify. If you know, if your conscience is telling you that it is wrong, if it is in my Holy Bible that you shouldn't be doing such things, then lay it down today and you will be set free. It is just a counterfeit, my child. The sin is a counterfeit. You think it is bringing you enjoyment. You think it is giving you all you need to feel content. But it is a counterfeit. My love, my peace and my presence is all you need to feel complete. You do not need anything on the earth to satisfy your soul. You need me, my children. The fullness of my presence, the fullness of my love, and you will feel complete and you will need no other things to try and make you feel good. No drugs, no alcohol. Your sexual addictions, things that are dragging you into the darkness, things you do in secret, they are not hidden from me, my child. I see all things. Lay down all willful sin this day. And I promise the joy you will feel. I can take you further, further into my presence if you lay down your willful sin. I cannot be with sin, my children. I cannot coexist with sin. Lay it down. Take the sacraments, the body and blood of Jesus Christ. Confess your sins before me. Remember all he did for you on the cross in Calvary. That he laid down his life for you. So you could be free. So you could come higher. Be seated in heavenly places with me. But you must lay down willful sin. The sin is holding you back. It's like chains. Chains around your spirit holding you to the earth. When you lay down these sins, when you confess them before me and ask to turn, ask me to help you turn, I will come and I will make my home within you and I will help you, my child. I will show you ways, I will give you the strength so that you do not need to sin no more. And then, my child, you can come into my glory and see my face. You can dance with me in heaven. I will show you my heavenly realm. But while this sin is holding you to the earth, you can only go so far. I want to take you further than you have ever been before. I want to open your spiritual eyes to see things you never imagined possible. I want you to experience the tangible reality of your God. Hand all sin to your Lord and Saviour Jesus Christ. Ask him to help you. Turn your back and walk away. Walk away from the sin which binds you, the devil. He wants to keep you grounded. He doesn't want you to see me, to be with me, to worship in spirit and truth. But you must come. You must be strong. You must say no, even if others laugh at you and mock you. Even if it means a brand new life, a brand new way of doing things. If it means leaving a certain group of friends, then do it, my child. For the peace and contentment that will come by being obedient to my will and commands in my Holy Bible compares to nothing, nothing you experience on the earth, nothing. Stop looking for love in the arms of man. Come to your God. 
I love you eternally. I love you unconditionally. I created you and I fill you. I fill you full to overflowing with all that I am. And that is where your peace will come, your contentment, your joy, eternal joy. It will take away the fear and the worry and the concern and the stresses of life. My peace. The peace of God which transcends all understanding, guarding your heart and mind through Christ Jesus your Lord. Know what it is, my child, while you exist upon the earth, to fly in heaven, to come into paradise, to dance in spirit and truth, to be free. Do not wait until your last day on the earth to receive me, my son, to be forgiven, to confess your sin. For your life may pass swiftly and you may not have that chance to confess your sin before me. Do not risk an eternal life separated from me by being willfully disobedient and continuing on with your sin this day. Sin no more, my child. Lay it down. I'm going to bring to your remembrance right now, my child, things you are doing against my will, things that I need you to confess and lay down and walk away from today. I'm going to give you some time and in this time I'm going to bring to your thoughts the things you are doing that are against my will. Now, my child, confess this sin before me. Repent. Ask me to forgive you of your sin this day. Now walk away from this sin, my child, and do it no more. Draw a line in the sand and say no more. You must be strong. The devil will tempt you with this sin again over and over. He will justify it, make it seem okay. Just one more time. Rebuke the devil and he will flee. Say no to the devil, the enemy of soul, who wishes to keep you grounded on the earth. I wish to break the chains which bind you, my child. And to do this, you must confess your sins and you must stop sinning in my sight. And I promise you will go higher and higher from glory to glory. Trust me with your life, my child. Trust me with all things. I am your God. I know what is good for your heart, mind and soul, your emotions. Some things have been holding you back for many, many years and I have not been able to take you further because of the sin which is holding you down. Today, you have confessed your sin before me and I have forgiven you. You are free. Do not let the devil annoy you, tempt you, speak to you concerning this sin any longer. It is gone, forgiven and you are set free. Entertain the devil no more. I want to lift you higher and higher into my holy way. I want to take you into paradise. I want to show you my kingdom. I want you to experience heaven on earth. I want you to be free, my child. Thank you for confessing your sins before me this day. Thank you for giving me your whole heart and soul. Thank you for wanting to change, to be transformed. Read my holy word, my child. It will renew your mind. It will keep you on the narrow path. It will remind you that you are walking in truth and righteousness. 
It will remind you of your sin, of what you used to do, where you came from, and how you have been set free, and that you do these things no more. Read my holy word, it will guide you through life, it will show you right from wrong. I did not make any mistakes when I wrote Gerehashi, your holy Bible, through my prophet. I love you this day, my children. Come to me now. Place your hand in mine, and together we will walk from this life into eternity. I will be with you right until the end. You are my precious child on the earth, and I love you. I love you unconditionally, now and forever. Amen.